This is Twit. It's Tyler, the creator in Santa Monica. Hi, Tyler. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, glad to get through. Been uh, listening to the show for a few years now. Um, I really enjoy it. So, Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, so I had a question. I've uh, sort of been in the market for just a cheap computer. Uh, in the past, I've built and bought computers to do audio engineering and oh, stuff neat. like that. That's So it's not gaming, but it's audio that you do. Yeah, I mean, I've, yeah. I've gamed too, but, you know, I've switched over to Mac um, to use, like, Logic and Reason and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, it's the best for that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Um, never any driver issues with the hardware. That was my problem. I built a PC for audio engineering, and everything I plugged into it was just a nonstop search for drivers. So. It's so funny because, you know, as an industry, the audio industry, uh, the recording technology is... Uh, did you have a burrito earlier? I'm sorry, I didn't... Uh, the uh, is uh, <laughs> now my train of thought just went out the door with that motorcycle. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is uh, it, just for some reason and no 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 real technical reason I don't think uh, adopted the Macintosh. So of course all the hardware you know is kind of designed around the Macintosh. They always make drivers for the Mac first. Kind of the reverse of say business software where everybody just assumes you're using Windows. There's no yep. technical reason as far as I know for that, but it is just the the case. Yep. So, um, so um, well, yeah, basically, so I've been looking for um, just a cheap computer, you know, something I could Netflix with, get on the Internet. If there was some gaming, that would be great. And I stumbled across, I don't know if you've heard of it, the Google Chrome bit that they're coming out with. The little. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is, is so I'm a Chrome, I'm a Chromebook fan. Uh, I love them, but they, yeah, you're right. They now have one. It looks like a USB key, but with uh, exactly. HDMI on it. They haven't announced a price. They say under 100 which makes it pretty attractive. But it's well, not going to be good for audio engineering in the least. No, no. I, I would just, you know, like I said, I'm looking, now I'm just sort of looking for something cheap that'll just, you know, Netflix, Internet. Um, Perfect for that. You know, the, the, yeah, exactly. But I saw, you know, after finding that, I did a little research, and mm -hmm. there's all these Chinese companies that make Android versions. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of Android sticks. Hey, I was just wondering if you had any recommendations or experience with any of those. Um, yeah, they're fine. I mean, Android is really designed to be uh, com It's Linux. It's com compact. Again, not recommended for audio. In fact, Android does have a, a technical limitation that okay. is, you know, you've probably seen there's a million and one great audio and music making apps for the iPad. Very few on the Android side. And there's a, I did not know this, but I recently learned it's because for some reason, and nobody's been able to figure this out or fix it, there is some significant latency on the audio chain, about at least 10 milliseconds. Now, you might say, well, one, one, th one millisecond is a thousandth, so that's one one hundredth of a second. But as you know, as a musician, if you're in a band and uh, oh, oh yeah. and you're that half a beat off, the world the if you saw Whiplash, you're, <laughs> dragging the beat is not a good thing. No, You get not. a cymbal thrown at your head. So yeah, uh, Apple's just great for that. And um, Apple has, has, for some reason, there is no, very low audio latency on the uh, iOS devices. So as long as you don't intend to use Android for, uh, you could use it for a Logic or something like that because latency doesn't matter. But for live performance or interaction with other musicians, it's a bad choice. Okay. And yeah. It, I, go ahead. So uh, these are cheap. Um, by the way, they're going to be Windows devices like this. You can get a Raspberry Pi with Windows 10 on it for 35 bucks. Oh. This is this is the new thing, and this is what you're seeing is as devices shrink in size, shrink in the need for power. Um, you're going to be able to see computers in everything as these chips get more and more efficient. Intel, uh, Samsung, and I'm sure Apple soon are all making chips with a, what they call a 14 nanometer process. That's 14 billionths of a meter. It is almost a couple of molecules, just a little more than a few molecules thick. That's the, wow. the, the lines. You can't get much smaller. At, it, you can't get, you, you don't, you know, at some point, it's just too small. So we yeah. are now, but what happens when you get that small is power consumption goes down, heat goes down, and speed goes up because things are closer together. It's a very amazing uh, uh, technology. We live in amazing times. This is yeah. This is yeah, angels on the head awesome. of a pin times ten. 
Yeah, I was, uh, I, you know, I didn't even know they existed until I saw that thing about the Chrome bit. And, you know, now there's, I've been looking, well, there's the Intel makes one. Everybody's going to make them. Yep, Intel announced one as well. Um, An these, Apple one would be awesome. Apple will never make one. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I shouldn't never say never. You never know with Apple. But <laughs> the, the, the Apple is uh, one company and they are very choosy about the categories they enter. And they only enter a category where they see some value that they can add and a, and a significant markup. And that is a, that is aiming at the low end of the market, isn't it? So Apple yep. has no interest in that. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's probably... I, I have no problem with those. I mean, because you're using, uh, you know, Unix, Android is Unix, um, uh, you're, you're, you've got capabilities. Even the Chromebook, you can put Linux on it. And use it as a standalone computer. I don't know how Linux is for music creation. Do you know if some of those Android uh, HDMI adapters, if they're rootable? Absolutely. Like Android phones are? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That's the, the so one you can do I anything you want. Android. You can turn them into a brick if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a great time to be a hacker, let me tell you. And I mean that in a good way, not the bad guy hacker, but a good way. To somebody who could take hardware and understand software well enough to modify it, uh, boy, you're in a, a wonderful time. Uh, Raspberry Pi, thirty-five dollars, and it's going to oh, come with Windows Ten. That's amazing. Yeah. And, and those things, they have Ethernet ports, USB ports. They're amazing devices. They're real computers. Oh, check that out. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the call. You yeah, sound like you're take care. you're having fun with technology, and that's that's great. Music has really benefited from all this. And I was yeah, very surprised. Uh, but I do understand now why, even though there are lots of inexpensive, good Android tablets, there, there are very few music creation apps uh, for Android. Uh, Apple really owns that space. And if so if that's what you want to do, I think you're going to probably end up getting a Mac or an iOS device.